What's going on, everybody? Welcome on into this video. We got a really cool video showing you how you can actually go back, replay charts on TradingView, and then actually trade those charts or that time frame that you are looking at with bar replay. So we're gonna get right into it. This should be a pretty short video so you guys can get in and get out with what you need. There'll be a link to trading view if you want to check it out down below. If you don't have access to it, we use the premium version, but you don't necessarily need to use the premium version uh, to get access to the bar replay feature by any means. Okay, so what we're looking at right now is we got a chart pulled up of Tesla. So this is a stock that I actually want to cover um, right now because I missed this opportunity. So here's my chart of Tesla. This is going back to the last trading day uh, before I, you know, we're filming this video now on the weekend. Okay, so this is great. So if you don't have time to do this during the week, this is amazing to do, let's say on the weekends or at nights at when trading hours are, are passed, right, when they're over and you can get a really good sense for, you know, price action. And then you can practice. The whole point of this is to practice, to practice, to practice. Okay. So right now I have my chart pulled up for Tesla. Let's say I wanted to uh, pull up, uh, for example, an EMA, pull up the nine EMA, for example. I can pull up the VWAP, whatever I wanna pull up. Pull it up on your charts. Now what we can do is we can go back. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is click on the bar replay feature. I'm gonna exit the mode for right now because here's how Tesla finished, right? So let's just say that I wanted to practice trading this. I can go to a random day or I can just go back in time to trade Friday click on replay at the top of our screen. Then this will essentially bring this little bar right here and I can set the time that I want to start the replay from. So for example, I'll set it to like right here. So now all I have access to is where Tesla was trading at by 11.20 a.m. I believe that is my time, which is central time here on the 17th, okay? So we got all this stuff pulled up. Here are my levels I was watching. This level right here happened to be a level from a couple candle wicks, five minute candle wicks right there as support on this was Thursday before we broke down. And then I kept that leveled out because it ended up being an area we watched right there that we rejected off of briefly. But my key spot was really right up in here on Tesla. So I was watching to see if Tesla was going to give us a move up over that level for a potential breakout trade. Now, I don't know when it was going to happen. I happened to be watching the charts in the morning. It didn't happen in the morning. And then I wasn't watching the charts in the afternoon, was busy with other things, so I couldn't trade it. But this is a great opportunity to come back and trade it now on the weekend when I've got some time just to get the reps in, to get the practice in. So couple things. We can't actually change the, we can't really um, customize the sizing too, too much on our positions, but I don't think it's a humongous deal. Just scale it up or scale it down and, you know, add a couple zeros in your head after the fact. And that's essentially what you need to be paying attention to. Why? If I go back into here, as of right now, the mark, they're essentially only allowing you to have market orders right now for the execution prices that you see currently on the screen. Okay. For Forex, the default quantity is a thousand, but for any other symbols, it's one. Okay, so in this case, we're talking about just Tesla stock. So we're looking at just being able to trade or being able to buy and sell one. So that buy and sell at the bottom right of our screen, when I click on that, it's going to only buy one. I can keep clicking on it and it will add my position, you know, until I, you know, get the size that I want to. But to be honest, you know, trade one share, trade two shares, let's say you trade contracts, options, or you trade, you know, in, in you know, tens or twenties or you know, hundreds, you got to just scale it up to whatever works best for you. Unfortunately, that's something we can't change. I wish we could, but we can't change it as of right now. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is now I'm going to change the time or the replay speed. So I'm going to go to one X. So now as I click on play, it's going to bring these bars through. Uh, about one every one second, you're going to get a five minute candle come through. So I can change the speed to go slower. In this case, you know, I actually may go ahead and do that here in a minute. The reason why I'm going to go ahead and do that is because I want to simulate like when this stuff is playing out, let's say, let me go pause that. When it's playing out in real time, I want to simulate like me having to think things through, like when am I going to buy? When's the buy? When's the sell? You know, and that takes time. These are five minute candles. So it takes you know some time to play out. So it just comes down to how fast you know you want to watch things or, or you know follow things. Now, right here, if I pause it right here, okay, what I'm seeing right now is this is a potential opportunity for me to add because we had this area that was respected a couple more times throughout the afternoon. Now we're breaking above this. So I may honestly look to potentially get myself a potential add here with a stop loss if we start to fall down below here. And what I may end up doing is I may add a second add 
if we get above this level. So that's kind of like my, that was kind of my thesis going into this trade. Um, if I was able to watch things. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna click on buy. Now, I'm, when I click on buy, it's gonna fill me at the price that it's showing right now on Tesla up in the top right. So 203.55. So boom, we got one share. Now, if I click on that one share, for example, there's this X right here, which is closed position. Then we have this right here on the left is reverse. So if I'm currently long one share, if I click reverse, now I'm short one, one share, okay? If I go back to reverse again, now I'm long one share, okay? All of our executions are also documented on the screen, which is nice to see. Okay, so good. Now, okay, I gotta add a couple extra things in there and we could have just had one, but now I'm long one share. Let's play this out a little bit further and let's see if we get that break above, which looking back in hindsight, I now see, okay, we rejected off that. So it's telling me, okay, we got a key spot that's you know still acting as resistance, but as long as we can hold up above this prior area, I'm liking it. Boom, we're breaking above. Now, here we go. Here is where I'm gonna take my second ad. I'm gonna click on buy again. Now we've got a second ad to our Tesla position. So I added one of those one of those shares in this case. It could be option contracts, you know, whatever you trade. One here on the break and the second one now as we're breaking out on that second level, okay? So now I've got two ads and what I'm gonna use is that nine EMA as my stop loss. If we get a five minute close back under that nine EMA, that's where I'm gonna take my profits and move on or take my loss if it does come back against me here. So back to play, we're watching Tesla. Boom, pushing to the upside, pushing to the upside. Maybe what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is if we get a nice push up to let's say, you know, 207 to 208, I might go ahead and sell one of these shares. So I'm gonna go ahead, that's the big volume push right there to a new high of the day. I'm gonna dump one of these shares, boom. Now I've got one share left and that one share is going to be stopped out once we fall back below that nine moving at exponential moving average, okay? So let's play things out. Here we go, a little pullback. Here comes another pullback, let's see. Boom, now we got a candlestick that is closing below that moving the exponential moving average. That is when now I'm seeing, okay, trend is reversing. I'm going to head and click on, I can click on sell or just flatten, which will get me to zero. Click on flatten, boom. Now I'm gonna click on play. Let the rest of the trading play out. And then you'll just see now at the end, we'll get a little recap of how it is. So look, that, that sell ended up saving me a few bucks. It looks like there, and then we push back down. Then I think we're gonna bounce right back up here, at least on Tesla into the close. Yeah, just a little bit. And dare we say, barely get a new high of the day. So got stopped out before a new high of the day. And now Tesla, we have now are about to finish this five minute, um, I guess, trading recap or trading replay. Uh, it'll keep going through the after hours on Friday. But again, there wasn't too much trading in the after hours. So there shouldn't be too much action here. What I may end up doing, honestly, is go to the, click on this and go to jump to real time chart. Boom. Congrats, trader. Your hard work pays off. Boom. So now you can kind of see if I wanted to be a scalper or want to try to trade different things, I can go and try different trades and try all this different stuff if I wanted to. And it tells me how much money I made. It tells me how much money I made on each trade, the success rate, all that good stuff. So it's kind of cool. And uh, it's definitely something that could be useful to your own trading and your own education and uh, your own practice, really if you can't trade during the market hours, this is a great way to go about it. It's kind of like paper trading um, in simulation mode. So hope this was helpful. If you got something out of the video, thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up button, consider subscribing. There will be a link again down below to TradingView. If you guys, uh, we, use a, we use a premium version. If you wanna check it out, get a, a free trial for 30 days of the premium version, you can check it out and go ahead and do so. If I wanna get it out of the, the replay feature here, click on our replay, and now I'm back to, to real time. So. We are all good to go. Again, links, resources down below. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you guys in a future video. Peace.